City News spoke with the Edmonton Stingers' newest owners in a one-on-one -on -one interview Thursday about what it means to be a part of the team. They say giving back to the community is top of mind for goals that they would like to achieve. We are excited to not only bring South Asians, um, um, but everybody uh, to the Stingers fan base. Starring on the Canadian show Dragon's Den, Manjeet is used to the spotlight, but she says being the first female owner in the league is an accomplishment meant to inspire little girls all over Canada. You know, it is inspiring to me um, when a lot of other women get involved not only in sports but things that are traditionally male dominated and so I have two young girls I hope I'm inspiring them and many other girls in this country um, to be involved in whatever they're passionate about. The Edmonton Stingers weren't the first sports franchise the siblings looked at being part of. Over the past few years the duo had interest in purchasing the Ottawa Senators in the National Hockey League and most recently another sports franchise in the city also approached them about a possible ownership, the Edmonton Elks. I, actually, funny enough, they had reached out to us a number of months ago and last year as well um, in, in some looser conversations around sponsorship than ownership. Um, and so it just, this was a perfect fit for us. Both owners say when it comes to the basketball operations, they will take a step back. As for community relations and initiatives to involve the community, they say the organization has already laid the groundwork for success and they are hoping to continue that for years to come. The Edmonton Stingers does a great job of involving all different types of communities. Last year, we were the first to do a South Asian uh, night, a Filipino night, a Rai Indigenous night. And it's nice to see that teams like the Oilers and the Flames have done it this year also. From Edmonton, Adam Zicarelli, City News.